In this video, we're going to talk about the 835 Claims Extractor, the close cousin of the 835 File Splitter. There is a uh, video on that as well, where we talk about the splitter and the extractor together, but we demoed um, the uh, splitter only, so this is sort of the, the B section to that, where we're going to talk about them both again, but we'll actually demo the extractor here. Uh, the splitter and the extractor are part of the EDI Utility Toolbox. The time of this video, there are 19 tools in the toolbox, and we're always adding. Uh, the difference between the two, uh, they're similar but different in practice. They both take an 835 file, and they'll split it into some number of smaller 835 files. Uh, these same three rules apply to all of the editing tools in the toolbox. We never change your original file. We always create a new file, a copy of it, and make the changes in the copy. And uh, because of that, you can always set a separate location for the new files. Now, the fundamental difference between the splitter and the extractor are as follows. Uh, the splitter will take a file. In this example, we've got an 835 file with seven claims totaling $10,000. And you use some logic to split it into three files. Well, you'll still have the same seven claims for the same $10,000. So the sum of the parts will always equal the whole. So we'll always account for all the claims. Extractor is a little bit different. Extractor says, I just got some claims that I care about, the rest I'm going to ignore. So based on some criteria, in this example, there's only three files, uh, three claims in the file that we care about, and we extract them into a single file. So uh, the splitter makes multiple files, the extractor makes only one file, um, and will only populate that file with the uh, claims you choose. Uh, I will skip quickly through the splitter methods. They're found in our other video there, but the one thing it, um, the splitter does have is a rules-based um, component uh, where you need to set your own rules. And uh, the extractor um, has only a rules-based option. So what we're going to do is talk about that. So basically, again, you set your own rules. And any element, loop segment element inside of a claim is fair game to set a criteria against. So you do have to have some knowledge of the EDI specification, but if you don't, that's fine. Uh, use us, that's what we're here for. So when you license these products from us, it comes with unlimited tech support and training, uh, which includes us writing rules with you or for you and helping you out in that regard. So you don't need to be an EDI, EDI analyst to write these rules. And the question on uh, the 835 splitting is adjusting or not adjusting, and I'll talk about that when we do the demo. So let's actually take a walk through the extractor. All right, this is the EDI utility toolbox. The 835 uh, claim extractor is right here, uh, one of 19. We're going to select that option here. Now, it's not a very sexy interface to start. Uh, First, before it um, does anything, it wants to know what it's looking at. So I'm actually going to browse to a file. Uh, I'm going to do this one here, the sample single 835. That's the file we're going to be working with. So I'm going to select that. Then we get the interface for uh, extraction. Now I'm going to close my window back here just to give you a little, a little more view. But I'm also going to do a little before and after. So I'm going to call up. Uh, using a separate tool. This is our EDI reader tool, and we're going to take a look at that same file. Now, this is uh, a separate tool that allows you to look at the EDI files in a record layout. So it basically loads the claims um, into a grid for you. Um, let's just look at it in a more familiar, readable fashion. Now, let's suppose we're, we're going to extract some claims out of this file. Let's say we've got two different systems. We've got uh, maybe a, an ER system or a radiology system that's separate from our main billing, but uh, we're all using the same uh, pay, uh, payee ID or tax ID. So we're getting remittances sent back from our payer, and it's all mixed together. But I need to isolate some of these claims and send them to another system. And let's say, for example, in, in our first uh, demo here. It's based on the subscriber ID. Could also be, you know, the claim, you know, the patient control number, etc. But I've got a bunch of subscriber IDs in here, and if you kind of scroll down, you'll see they're all numbered. And just say, for the sake of argument, that the ones in the in the one series, the ones that start with a one, those are the ones I need to send to uh, system A, and I don't care about the rest. Or maybe maybe you can even be more creative and say anything with a one or a nine. Those are the two ranges. Okay, this is uh, one possibility. So we got Johnny Mathis is in the 9 series and you know we've got uh, Bo Diddley in the 1 series so we're going to grab those claims. So how we're going to do that is we're going to write a rule. Now the rule 
you know, the rules uh, work on a file which we've already selected so it's up here and you can have as many rules as you care to write you can have rules to grab any different part we have some here that work on in this uh, list here that work on CAS segments some work on um, CPT codes etc so I'm gonna write a new rule first thing you have to do is uh, start the rule by giving it a name let's call this one NM109 because that's the field I'm going after the the element I'm going after which you'll see in a second uh, and we'll do NM109 1 let's do that I know what that means all right so I've got NM109 1 as my rule there's nothing in this rule yet so I have to edit it now once a rule has been written you only need to select the file and execute the rule but I have to edit this first because it's not been uh, created yet so here have a container we can have multiple operators which are end up being or clauses in in this list down here but you start by populating so if I'm going to go after certain patient account numbers I'm sorry um, subscriber numbers which is patient IDs um, I'm going to go after the NM1 segment with a QC qualifier that identifies the patient uh, and I'm going after NM109 element 09 so that's the element I'm going to look at and I'm going to make some kind of comparison and I'm going to make it a string comparison if I was doing a DTP segment for example I'd be using a date if I was doing something with uh, billing amounts I would use numeric most most of these are going to be string so when I have a selected string I have a bunch of operators so I want to say my string begins with I want all the people in the one series so in that case it's a pretty simple I just grab it and now I've got one line and this maybe I only want the one so if this were the case I'd be done writing the rule but I also stated maybe I wanted also the nines so I'm going to do the same uh, comparison QC qualifier the 09 segment it's a string comparison I want it to begin with and I want this one to begin with 9 so those are right so it's either remember these are R or clauses so it's either if it's a 9 or it's a 1 at the beginning of that subscriber ID it's going to grab it and it's going to take the entire claim and move it to its own file so now where is it going to move it well it's going to create a new file and this file ID allows me to put some text in here whatever I want so that will actually put this freeform text into the file name to help me identify it and I also have the option to put it in a separate folder which we highly recommend so I'm going to put this in the uh, extractor completed files folder so that's where I'm going to put the, uh, the completed file so when I'm done I can save this I can close it and last question I'm going to answer before I move on is the PLB information now a PLB segment is a remit level adjustment that comes at the remit level the check amount level it has nothing to do with the claims inside that file but it's an adjustment that either takes money away from the total check or adds money to the total check for various reasons either interest payments uh, for you know late filing or other way around uh, lots of money taken away for prior balances things like that the question is what do you do with them we got two options we can do not adjust payments meaning we're going to pull we're going to copy the PLB segment in, as well as all the envelope information from the source file unchanged so what that means is it's going to be out of balance some people like that their systems don't necessarily force a balancing and then they have the original check amount to tie back to the accountant in me doesn't like that very much so um, folks like me choose to create a balanced 835 file so what we're going to do is we're going to create a BPR segment uh, the check amount if you will that's going to match the sum of the claims that we extract so we have a balanced per the spec 835 it also though has a caveat any PLB segments what do we do with them we don't know so what we do is drop them and that's a conscious decision a lot of systems don't process the BPR or I'm sorry the PLB segments anyways so um, it's really not an issue in most cases so I've selected my balancing option I've selected my rule I have selected my file I'm gonna click OK and it told me that 130 out of 148 claims were extracted into its own file and if I go into completed files I can see there it is and there's my word text now that's um, 
uh, actually what gets appended to the front. The rest of the file name stays the same so you can identify it. So let's look at the, uh, the before and the after. Here's the before file before we extracted any claims out of it. I'm actually going to launch a second session here and we're going to call up the new file that we just created. And what we have here is 130 out of the 148. And if we look at the subscriber IDs, which we can sort, um, we have ones. And if we keep going, we're going to probably find at the bottom a couple of them, not many, uh, just a couple of nines, uh, subscriber IDs that start with nine. So this is what we have extracted. And we have extracted a balanced file because we forced the payment amount to equal the amount of the paid claims. We can do a couple other examples. I won't do the before and afters, but I will show, show you a couple of the um, other options for, um, for uh, formulas here in our rule-based. Here's one called 81001. I will edit and show you this rule. This rule is very uh, searching for um, CPT codes at the service line. So SVC01, no qualifier required in this one. We're going to make we're going to look for anything that contains 81001 in this example. Now, you could have an 835 claim with hundreds of SVC um, segments in it. If it finds 81001 in any of the SVC 01s, it's going to grab the entire claim. Remember a uh, claim extractor, it's not a line extractor. So it will grab the entire claim if one of the segments contain an 81001. So whenever you're down at the actual SVC level, um, you, was, you can still um, write rules at that level, but you're going to get the entire claim. Here's a good example of one rule that's looking for a certain CAS code. And it's looking for a CAS CO equals to 169 or contains 169. So this is a um, CAS code, um, so I'm looking for certain claim adjustment reason codes. And if it matches my criteria, once again, it's going to grab the entire claim. And that is the 835 claim extractor tool. Uh, feel free to check back to our YouTube channel for all our other videos.